Hi there, I'm Lisa Doyle with J Rock with Realtors and welcome to our How's the Market update. Today is Friday, August 24th and I've got some great information to share about what's been evolving in our market. Just continual um, moving towards improvement and with some information that I want to share. So one thing that I wanted to let you know right, right away is one of the things I get questions about almost every day is where are our interest rates and what is likely to happen on, um, with those because that could have a big impact on our market next year. Right now, the 30-year fixed conventional interest rate, 3.62, which is just crazy. Um, you know, just two years ago, we were at 6.7. So 3.62 is a, a tremendous savings for anyone who is, of course, wanting to purchase a home or refinance your house. So if you have questions about that, let me know. And what I'm going to do next week in, in our update is I'm going to walk you through, for those of you that are buying homes, I want to walk you through the difference in what the payment would be because that will allow you to create a strategy for you. So if you're wanting to buy a home or if you're trying to decide when's the best time to buy a home, that will help you prepare. So as far as what's going on in our market right now, um, this last week we had 152 homes hit the market new as active and 159 go pending. So our numbers still staying very um, even, although I have to tell you, um, in the last maybe two to three months of updates, We've had significantly more pendings than actives, and now our active and pending this week was equal. So that's kind of an interesting trend to watch. Maybe we'll start to kind of get a little bit more um, regulated, you might say, or a little bit more even than this crazy multiple offers that we've had in most price brackets. Um, and right now, totally, the total on the market is 826 homes are actively listed, and our East Bay basically is the 580, the 680 corridor, the clip of the 24 down to Orinda and down through Walnut Creek and Pleasant Hill in that area. So basically Livermore to Walnut Creek, Pleasant Hill, and Danville, Santa Ramon, and everything in between. So that gives you a sense of the, the area that we're encompassing. And 826 homes listed is very uh, a very small amount. Right now there's 1,850 currently pending in that same area. And one statistic that I get asked a lot is what's going on with the distressed market, which still is a very small percentage of our market. Right now only 23 um, homes are pending in our entire market that are of the bank owned from this last week. Six of them um, hit the market new bank owned, so not a lot of active listings coming on bank owned. And as far as the short sales that went pending this last week, 37. So out of the 152 pended, um, only 37 were short sales. So still the, the distressed market, a very small percentage of our inventory. And one question that I've had a lot lately is, what's going on with that so-called shadow inventory and what's happening with that? We are getting an update from the banks that we work with right now to find out what does that mean to our market next year or what could it mean and what could the election mean to our market. So I'll be bringing you more information over this next couple of weeks that will help you prepare and plan. And Of course, if you have questions about anything that would help you with your home or anything that I can do to help you, my name again is Lisa Doyle. My number is 925-890-7443. I look forward to seeing you soon.